Um, I have been sick this week, that's why I haven't filmed. Um, actually, my whole household has been sick this week, so it's been quite an adventure. Um, but I did decide to get rid of my glitter, as everybody lovingly calls it. Um, and I went and got this new dye from Walgreens. I've never used this color before, but it is from L'Oreal Feria, I think. And it was called Bright Black, but it has a blue tint to it. And I've never used that. I've always gone with like natural black. But I saw this one, I was like, eh, I'll try it. And it's given me like this weird navy blue ring around my head so if you notice that it looks a little strange that's why but um, today I wanted to bring you guys a small haul and a what's in my planner bag video um, my Christmas stuff is finally starting to come in I'm super super excited um, I will show you guys another few little things that I got that are just super super cute so um, I call this my little floofy and um, it is this gorgeous little planner clip that I got from a shop on Etsy called the Amber Locket and um, the owner of that shop if you are in Planners Gone Wild you know our mascot is the llama and a couple of months ago, they did kind of a newbie post, which I'm not a newbie, but um, I thought it was just something really fun. And I got adopted by a llama, and her name is Laura, and she's awesome. I love her layouts. Her stamps, her stamp layouts was what really just caught my eye because she used these, these beautiful black and white themes. And her layouts are just absolutely gorgeous. So uh, she just opened up her own Etsy shop recently, and it's called the Amber Locket. So I wanted to get a couple of things, and I'm definitely going to shop a little bit more because her um, her things are just so beautiful and well, beautiful and vintage. And I just absolutely love this, like. This, I don't know for some reason when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, it's like a little floofy Pomeranian. So, I don't know where I come up with these things. But anyway, it is made out of tulle and has a little cameo on it and everything like that. It is just gorgeous. It's small enough to where it's not going to be super, super bulky in my bag. and But it's still just really, really noticeable. And I love it. I think it is just gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then another thing that I got from her, I don't know if I posted this on Instagram. If I haven't, I really need to, but I got this gorgeous little charm to go on my Foxy. And it is a clear heart and it's got a little rosebud in the center of it, which is just so cute. And then I also got some pen loops from her and here is one. So, whoop, something just fell. Don't know what that was, but something just fell. So this beautiful little pin loop here, it's got, um, like, you can't really tell because it's black and there's a black pin in there. So maybe it'll be able to tell a little bit better. There we go. And with it being black, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but it's just a really, really pretty little uh, pin loop clip because I do not get traveler's notebooks with pin loops in them because I think they create a lot of bulk. And I just, I don't like the way that they can sometimes bend your inserts either. Um, where is that other little thing? Okay, so. This is going to be part of the what's in my planner bag because I've actually got the other ones in here. Um, so I got some other pretty little binder clips that have that she turned into pin loops. 
and I love using binder clips. I think they're really good and functional. I use them to keep the pages that I'm currently on open to where I can just reference to them really easily. So I got these other beautiful little hen loop clips from her as well. This one is like a vintage white. This one is a light pink and the little band in the center is velvet and then this is a beautiful rose gold with black elastic and rose gold uh, floral print to it so um, I will leave her link her shop linked below check her out her stuff is really awesome and like I said she's a pretty newbie shop so thought that was really fun and then um, I got some stuff from My Newest Addiction. I have been using her stickers pretty much since I started planning last year. I love her foiling on her stickers. It's more than just rose gold, silver, and gold. Um, she's able to do a lot more different foiling options, and I think that's just really, really awesome. Um, so I got these. They are rose gold little exercise stickers thought that was really really pretty and just a nice way that I can just kind of stick on there you know, hey I need to go do that today this is the little card that came with it so this shows her um, her shop logo and then I got just a bunch of date covers this one is a marbled one with rose gold And then this one is her neutrals with rose gold. So it's got like baby pink and then kind of a slate color. And then this one is like a chocolate brown and then there's a taupe. So really, really pretty. I love the fonts that she uses too. It's like that really nice bouncy cursive. And then this one is against like wood right there really pretty I prefer the rose gold so that's what I usually tend to go for but um, I would really like to try her different foils as well she's got a beautiful I think a red and she's got a holographic and pixie dust I think or pixie shatter something like that but anyway I'll leave her shop link down below as well and then I got a couple of die cuts from her that just really kind of stuck out to me I don't have a whole lot of die cuts but now that I am de in the process of decorating my dashboards and everything I wanted to get some um, some die cuts to match so this one came in a little bundle and I just thought it was so cute um, so you get this little bundle of three and then you've got a little candle and then a little pillow with the lashes on it. My nails are horrible too. And then you get this cute little sleep mask with lashes on it. And then I got another little bundle. Um, I love, love, love her bow clip stickers. And she actually made a set of neutrals that are die cuts. And you get the entire set. So you've got kind of a white, light gray one, and then a, I guess this would be like a chocolate brown or a black or a charcoal. And then this one's a mid-tone gray. And then this one is a blush pink. So super pretty. And then to match that, she offers this beautiful little bookmark. And they're all on kind of a thicker weight cardstock, um, not laminated. But if you want to laminate laminate them yourself, why can I not talk tonight? I don't know. But if you wanted to laminate them yourself, you absolutely could. And then there was a little um, a little sampler. So really cute there. Um, so like I said, I will leave her shop linked down below as well. Now to the what's in my planner bag video. This is going to be a little bit of a long video. We're already 10 minutes in. So thank you for sticking around. 
But anyway, um, so wherever I go or wherever my planners go, my planning pouch comes with me. And I used to be a 31 rep, so I had quite a few bags just kind of laying around. But I still use this one. This one was one of my favorite prints. This is the White Poppy. I believe that it is discontinued now, though. This is their zip pouch, and it is um, big enough to fit a letter size sheet of paper in here. So it can fit eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. But I really love bringing this. If I ever find something that's a little bit better, um, I may switch to that. But for now, this is what's working for me. So let's open her up and see. So in no particular order, I've got this little bag that's got just little planner clips and planner loops and things like that in it. And then I've got um, one of my key crafting items, my Tombow glue dots. So it's um, an adhesive. It's taken the place of my glue sticks. These things are awesome if you've never seen them or tried them. I've got... Tons of washi. Well, not tons. But this is pretty much my whole collection of washi. I really was not much of a washi user before, but then I found Simply Gilded. So I do use washi now. I think I've got like 14 rolls, and they're all hers. So these are all, this is my Simply Gilded collection as of yet. Um,. Her washies are just gorgeous. And then I've got, um, I've been trying to work on my hand lettering some, so I've got my whole entire set of Tombows in here. Um, and then I've got one of my favorite pens right now. I love using the Pit Artist pens from Faber Castell. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. But I have like three of these, and uh, that's my main pen that I use. I don't really use colored pens anymore. Oh, another washi. Yay. Another washi from Simply Gilded. And then I've got a Simply Gilded um, little notepad set. This is her mermaid shell that's super cute. And then I've got the notepad set from the January sub box which or December sub box yeah December um, it was the travel love so I've got those and then I've got my white out and some just little random stickers that I've gotten from simply gilded that I haven't done anything with yet I've got these papers that I'm planning on using for my dashboards, uh, some that I've made and things like that. I've got uh, Amber Lockett, the Amber Lockett business card because I keep things like that. And then I've got two more pins, one or two Sharpie pins. I used to really use those and they're just kind of backups. Um, little keychain from Simply Gilded December box that I need to put on something and my sticker collection which this is the most um, savvy thing but I use an old mailing envelope to keep my stickers in because it's nice and padded and it's got the bubble wrap type padding to it um, so I keep my this is my sticker collection, believe it or not. This is all of my stickers that I use, and it's got some photos in there as well. Um, I have been really trying not to go crazy with stickers here lately because I um, just had so many kits. So I put myself on a sticker no-buy unless it was something that I really needed. And I use date covers a lot when I'm laying um, when I'm doing my layout. So um, I've gone more from buying just a bunch of weekly kits to just buying the functional stickers that I really, really need. And um, that's really helped me 
curb some of my planner spending and using what I have. Um, which it kind of can be hard to do because if you've got, you know, just random colors and you don't have, you know, things that match, it can kind of look a little weird. But anyway, oh, and I have a pair of scissors that I carry with me too. So that is everything. Sorry if this is a little boring. I hope this wasn't too terribly bad. Um, anyway, I am going to get off here. Thank you so much for watching. Any shops that I mention, I will leave link down below. And um, be sure to check out my blog, Instagram. I've got a link for the Sassy Southern Planners Facebook group. And I think that is about it. So thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.